morning, my name is Vaughn, AKA Billy Smelter. We're on my 1983 Lures, the Real Hot. She's a little charter fishing boat that we just repowered. The boat was used for charter fishing in the Carolinas for eight solid years. It's a summertime charter fishing boat. Now that we have it in Fort Lauderdale, we're using it more for family use. We had a motor failure. I blew the starboard motor up. The scope of the project got bigger as we dug into it. Originally, we were just gonna replace the one motor, pull it out, slap it on the transmission, which is fairly new, it's a ZF220A, and keep going. As we got into it, I realized, wow, the motor mounts are shot. The motor mount shelves are shot. I better look at the other motor, see what's going on there. So I ended up finding a pair of used motors. We picked them up and decided to replace both motors. Once you start something like that, you're all in. We ended up taking everything out of the engine room, everything, down to the last wire, degreasing, pressure washing, getting a truck to come in and pump all the, the waste out, um, and started over. Built new motor mount shelves, put new motor mounts on, um, remounted the ZF transmissions after we serviced them, of course, put them, you know, put the new motors in, did an alignment job. Um, ZF has come in and we've put new control heads on, uh, electronic control heads, which this boat never had, which will be unbelievably convenient and make it way more user-friendly. As we got further into the project, we decided to get new props as well. Um, ZF has supplied us with a new four blade prop to replace the three blade, blade prop that we had. And I feel it's gonna make a very big difference in the performance of the boat. So if you're planning a repower, before you even start, crawl through your engine room with a microscope. Look at everything. Look at your motor mounts, look at the motor mount shelves, look at your stringers, look at your, you know, the corrosion on in any part of the engine room and decide, wow, I, I need to change all of this or this is good and I can live with this. Um, in my case, it turned out that I needed to change everything. The main reason we repowered instead of just getting rid of the boat and getting a new boat is I knew I'd have to put a motor in it to sell it anyway. You can't really sell a boat that's broken. Nobody's gonna buy it. I've had the boat for 15 years. There's no boat payment on it. You know, put new motors in it and enjoy it. And it's a 1983, so it's an older boat, but it's back when they built the boats. They're all battle wagons, we call them. This thing's, when you're running through the seas, it, it's, it's solid. Now that we've got the new motors in, we're gonna probably start chartering the boat again doing a couple fishing charters a week out of Fort Lauderdale, and again, use it as a personal family boat. You know, I have a wife and two kids that we, uh, we enjoy going snorkeling and diving, and the boys love fishing, and it's a perfect boat to do weekends in Bimini. How did we come about this prop? Um, the guys from ZF sent me an online form. I fill it out. It, I give them all the information on the boat, the boat width, the beam, the length, the year, the make, the model the horsepower of the engine, the length of the shaft, everything. And they come up with a formula to give you the best prop possible for this boat. And I will say that they did exactly that. Um, it's a ZF Torque Master prop that was literally built for this boat. So we just got in from our first sea trial with the new props. The difference was day and night. Um, we gained one knot all the way across the board at every RPM, I gained a knot the performance of how the boat rode it was so much smoother than with the old three blade prop it, it was really made a huge huge difference i couldn't be happier this is really successful repower really successful